Why are assault-style rifles described as weapons of war? Our next guest has this explanation. I just listened to the sound of that gunfire from one of the um, videos that was captured. And let me tell you that the last time I heard a weapon with that capacity firing that rapidly on the 4th of July was Iraq. It was not the United States of America. We can and we should and we will do better. My God, Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth of Illinois joins us now. She's a veteran uh, of the Iraq War, as you just heard, and a recipient of the Purple Heart. And uh, we thank you for joining us. So that really does size it up. I mean, the, the weapons that are being used in mass shootings almost daily. Uh, and by the way, these mass shootings, what I don't understand about your Republican counterparts is these mass shootings are not going to choose their political locations, their districts. They're going to come to a city or a town near them if they haven't already. And yet there's such resistance in Washington to putting any type of restraints on these guns getting into the wrong hands or to any hands, quite frankly, in a large amounts. Yeah, the, listen, the, these these firearms don't belong on the streets. And, you know, I, I spent 23 yeah. years in the Army. I, you know, and I and I carried an, an M16 and an M4. And I will tell you, I, I enjoyed shooting them on the range. But let me tell you, my enjoyment of shooting an M4 and M16 does not override someone else's right to life. You know, these folks are there at this parade to celebrate life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and seven of them no longer can do that. Um, and, and, you know, we need to ban assault weapons. And, and by the way, uh, these mass shootings, another characteristic of them is the use of high-capacity magazines. Um, and, and in the shooting, you know, you, you could hear the video from the shooting where there's a slight pause where he clearly was changing his magazines. And that pause gave more people time to run for safety. We need to get rid of high-capacity magazines along with the assault weapons. And Senator Duckworth, good morning. You talk about shooting that weapon on a range. That's because you were training. You were learning how to use that weapon, not an aggrieved 18-year-old walking into a store and being handed to him with no training at all. So you have talked about this legislation that was passed, that was bipartisan, that was signed by the President of the United States on guns being a good first step, but there's more that has to be done. But as we listen to Republicans, they say, even in the wake of the shooting in Highland Park, this is about mental health again. And I think, as you know, a lot of your Republican colleagues feel like we gave the Democrats one on this. Okay, we passed legislation after Uvalde and after Buffalo. We're not going to go any further. So what hope do you have that there is more to be done here? Well, there's a lot more to be done. Whether or not we can accomplish it with Republicans is what's under question. It's Republicans right. who refuse to lower the age for buying these assault weapons, uh, to, to raise the age from 18 to 21. Remember, this shooter was able to buy one uh, because his dad helped him get a FOID card when he was under 21. Um, that's Illinois' firearm owner's ID card. Everyone in Illinois must have one of those. One of the things that was in the bill that we did pass was more money to help different databases share information among each other when there's a red flag case. So when someone is, as in the case of Highland Park, uh, this, the police filed a report on this young man saying that, you know, he, he had had um, contact with police where he threatened to kill his entire family. Um, but somehow he was still able somewhere else in Illinois to go buy legally uh, an, an assault weapon. So we have to get those databases to overlap with each other. And, and there's money in the bill for that. But the bill still doesn't ban assault weapons. That's what we need to do. We need to ban assault weapons and we need to ban high capacity magazines. Um, and, you know, the only way we're going to do that is when we have a 52 Democrat majority in the Senate. Senator, good morning. Jonathan Lemire, no question. Guns are the problem, period, full stop. But I also want to get your sense as to what can be done about this culture of hate that so many young men, young white men in this country have fallen into, disaffected, isolated from society, perhaps exacerbated by the pandemic, finding fellow travelers online and therefore engaging, well, at least we know from this suspect, uh, in, in graphic depictions of violence and threats to school shooting. You know, there's obviously a limit to what law enforcement can do to root out these problems before they occur. But how, how does the Congress, how does the Senate, how do we as a, as a society deal with this culture of hate that fuels the violence that is then carried out by the gun? 
Well, we, you know, the, the culture of hate is one that we absolutely have to attack and, and we have to deal with it. A way that we can also deal with this is through the social media platforms, which allows these platform, these uh, messages to proliferate. Uh, remember, he, this young man had a video uh, that basically uh, recreated a, a school shooting where he was a shooter online. And I believe the video was on the air for quite a while. Uh, was on social media for quite a while. So we definitely need to look at social media platforms and the responsibility they have to root out, you know, if, if, they, if they can run an algorithm that, saw, that showed that I was online during the 4th of July looking at a new garbage disposal for my house and, 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 I, and I have ads following me for the next four days, um, they can root out the people who are posting these videos and flag them. They can figure out the algorithms. Now, whether they're willing to do it or not is a different story. Wow. Senator Tammy Duckworth making such a good point there. Thank you so much for uh, joining us this morning.